Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Friday, May the 14th, 2010. Well, a change of trend today to the downside. We have a candle now with a lower high and a lower low. And yesterday we highlighted the uh, fact that we uh, had a potential Japanese candlestick harami pattern reversal. And that's where the uh, body of the current uh, candle is engulfed by the body of the previous candle previous candle being bullish and the current candle being bearish in this case and it led to a new first time frame downtrend with a lower high and a lower low uh, we also had a bit of uh, trouble with the market just testing above the cloud and closing back in the cloud and it did that on a couple of occasions and uh, even though we had a fairly bullish close two days ago outside of the cloud, the market failed to really follow through on the day um, after that and closed back within the cloud. And that gave us a market that uh, that was basically neutral. Uh, a market that closes up above the cloud is uh, bullish. A market that closes down below the cloud is bearish and neutral trading within the cloud. So we have a neutral market within the uh, higher time frame. The candle is a fairly large red body candle and that uh, tells us that the bears have made some solid net bearish progress on the day between the open and the close and that uh, suggests that the, there is a chance that this downtrend may continue for at least another few candles or so. Uh, the bears did lose some commitment however throughout the trading day and we can see that from this shadow on the bottom of the candle and that represents buying coming in so uh, even though they uh, did make some, some uh, strong net bearish progress they did lose some of the strength that they had by the end of the day they closed the market uh, below the midpoint level but certainly between the midpoint level and the uh, low and uh, that tells us that even though the, the bears closed with control they did lose some of that control now the market uh, is trading down below the Tenkan Sen as well and that tells us that the market is uh, bearish in the medium term time frame but trading up above the Q uh, Tenkan Sen. So trading below the Kijun Sen, the pink line, in the medium term and trading below the Tenkan Sen for the short term, uh, sorry above the Tenkan Sen. So we're getting some mixed signals at the moment. Uh, neutral signal from trading in the cloud in the higher time frame perspective very signal trading below the Kijun Sen, slightly bullish signal trading above the Tenkan Sen, but that Tenkan Sen is pointing down and that's reflecting the downside momentum in the market. So a few mixed signals, although uh, overall uh, neutral but uh, bearish uh, in the medium term. Now the market uh, was attracted back towards the flat Kijun Sen, and quite often when the Kijun Sen is flat, the market tends to be attracted back towards there. Unfortunately though, that failed to hold a support and we did see some support come in when the market tested around the Tenkan Sen, which is at 11.31. Now, uh, there is uh, support down here at 11.33, where the market uh, traded down through and closed back up above. So if the market does continue to sell off, there is potential for support there. But there is support anywhere down through the cloud, uh, down to the bottom of the cloud at around roughly about 11.20. So there is potential for support down through there it's likely that the market will test that area on uh, Monday. Now, if the market does close outside of the cloud, then um, that would uh, be fairly bearish for this market in the longer-term perspective, but we would like to see a, a rather bearish close down below there to confirm that as well. Uh, but we do need to wait and see how the market develops over the next few trading days. Tra down below there, there is some decent uh, support down and around... Uh, the 1106, 1100 region and all the way down to 1080 and then this swing low at 1065 where the buyers came back in when the, uh, the market sold off fairly recently. So um, overall, certainly not a bullish market. Uh, I think we need to be cautious if, uh, if we're bulls at the moment and uh, just watch for any potential for the market to begin a new uh, uptrend, which may be possible, although the short-term dynamics aren't supporting that. Uh, a fair bit of overhead resistance though, um, much more resistance than there is support down below. Mm -hmm.